been a few days since I epoxy puttied the middle of the engine here. And here's an extra piece of the uh, epoxy resin. It's hard as a rock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some 320 grit sandpaper and I folded it up into a small little piece here and take a pair of tweezers and we'll start sanding it out. This is a lot easier on the fingers than trying to get your fingers in there. So just sand it all out and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Now that the putty's all smooth, now I can attack this seam that runs right down the middle of the whole thing. So I'll start with the hobby knife and I'll just scrape, scrape the seam for a little while, get it as flat as I can, and then I'll start with sandpapers. And now it's just a matter of uh, sanding smooth the seam. This is tedious work to get in all the little cracks and crevices, but nothing looks worse than seeing the seam when you uh, paint it. The heads are gonna be the same color, so we're gonna glue those in place as well. Tack them in for tack them in place first, and then we'll position them in the final. For the rear end, I'm going to try and sand it smooth so that there's no burr edges or anything. Basically even just rough it up a little bit so that the glue will stick better. up how ugly that seam was. Let's see if we can uh, fix this up a little bit. So we'll line it up down at this end and line it up down at this end and we'll work towards the middle I think. <laughs> Thank you. 
that fit in the pre-fit. It wasn't even close. We got a little bit of overlap right here. This side, I think that's just the seam, but that's definitely overlapping there. We're gonna have to uh, sand that out, make it flat. Because I certainly don't want to add material here on this side to make it match this side. So I'll just take this side down to match it. So we'll take care of that with sandpaper. But across the top, you can see it's just a little off there. Maybe we can move it. No, it's glued. But this side's good. It's like almost this whole side is good, but that side is bad. Looks like it opened up a little bit there. We'll put the uh, windshield frame on the body. Since it's a uh, body color all through here, I just want to have a good seam. I don't want to have a seam showing when, uh, when I paint it. So for here, we'll start here in the center. And then we'll do these side seams here. Same thing, other side. Which I'll have to check my reference pictures to see if this this uh, seam needs to stay here or not. gap right here we'll fill that with glue and here yeah not bad all right so I'm sanding this seat seam and I pretty much eliminated it here. Pretty much eliminated it here. Here it's a little low. Can you see the shine right in the middle? I'm gonna add some filler to that. This one, that's a step. So I'm gonna have to knock this edge down to match this. So I'll get some, I'll get some aggressive sandpaper here and then um, just knock it down. I know I've shown this tip before, but you uh, just take some liquid surface primer. It's a toothpick. And just run it right along the seam that you uh, want to make sure is gone forever. I swear I think that this is like thin putty. Let this dry like overnight and then just sand it down and you'll see if there's any uh, any leftover. After 
the primer and sanding, you'll see a little bit of gray, but those are not, uh, that's just the primer inside of the, uh, the line, the low spot. So don't worry about sanding it all off because that's filling the holes. Same thing with the seat, little spot there, and a spot there. And then rear end, we got just a little bit on the pumpkin. So I think that these are all ready for primer now, and then we can check, make sure that the line's gone. Next up, remember the steering wheel and the steering wheel center? and how bad that looked sitting in the middle. I think I figured it out. Um, there is a pin ejection mark right in the center of this steering wheel, focus. And I think I'm gonna grind that off, make it flat, and then the steering wheel will, sit, the center will sit right in the middle of the steering wheel, right up against it. And I think it'll bring it in a little bit better and make it look a little better. So back to the rotary tool, we got a flat bit with a bit of a grace abrasive on it. And we'll just grind off that little pin ejection mark there. I guess in an ideal world, I would get rid of all the thickness here because it's just like a thin, very thin thing. Uh, bar and to get rid of the thickness there it would make it real fragile um, I think I'm gonna leave it kind of not worth it this rearview mirror is atrocious I don't know what the heck that is why is it indented so um, let's sand it smooth and then we'll just uh, use a bare, piece of bare metal foil to uh, to make the reflective part because the back of it is fine but the front the face where the part where the mirror is that's just atrocious let's uh let's sand that flat there that's much better sanded it flat and like i said i'll just use bare metal foil over the front there and that'll be a better mirror than what it used to be there's the back now remember I glued in this piece here and um, for the top, remember the top had that gap that was right in the middle, right in this area? I took some of that epoxy putty and spread it between the two holes and check this out. Now it's just, you see the bottom of the epoxy instead of the big gap. But in doing so, I noticed that now there's a, a gap back here. And I got to th looking, and when you flip it upside down, see here, see this gap between the body and the, the top? And it's not even the same. It's small over here and it's bigger over here. So. I guess, I guess I could extend this line out with putty, make it perfectly flat so that you'd never be able to tell, or you can paint it up and leave it like that, which I think I'm going to leave it like this. It's uh, another one of those really not worth fixing things. The, uh, the top's gonna come off to show off the interior, and then we'll put the top on, and it looks just fine. But it's not perfect. Like I said, we got, you can see, see blue right through there. But, so either you would cut the roof, make it longer, or make the body longer. Lesser of two evils. And you're not allowed to use, you know, uh, cheap styrene with a box stock, so you'd have to do it with putty. And, uh, yeah, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not really willing to do either of those things to fix this. It'll just have to be wrong. 
One of the other things that was bothering me with this this kit was these pedals. And, you know, mounting them here, they stick way far away from the, uh, the interior tub. Now, a friend of mine uh, who's built this kit many times, he says that that's actually correct for them to stick way out like this. I don't like it. I'm going to cut... I'm gonna cut this here and reduce it by like half. So bring the pedals like down to here somewhere. It's just so that they're a little closer to the, the toe wall. Or the, yeah, toe wall, that's what you'd call that. And they won't be so obvious sticking out like that. I think the easiest way would be to cut the backs of the, the clutch and the brake. And then cut approximately half of this off. Cut approximately half of this off. And then just re-glue it. But I want to sand, I'll sand these smooth and then just re-glue them back together. So just like that. Pedals are not quite as long. When you put them in, they'll uh, they'll look more the spot. I think I think those look better. Just sticking out just a little bit. I cut three millimeters out of the length of them. Let's put a little putty on here, fill some of these low spots. I've already put one coat, but I just need a little more. Okay, I finished sanding out all of the uh, ejection pin marks on the underside of the top. It's not the prettiest, but uh, we'll see what it looks like after primer. So, wow. Four episodes just to prep all the parts before we even put anything in primer. It's been a lot of work so far, but uh, I think it's really going to come out nice since I did all the proper prep work for everything. Next step, I'm going to give it a wash with some Dawn dish soap, get all of the uh, mold release, all the fingerprint oil off of it, and um, then we'll be ready for primer. I've picked the colors, and I'm going to go with pale yellow for the body and red for the interior. I saw this car at Detroit it, during the Woodward Dream Cruise, and I just kind of fell in love with the color scheme, so I think it'll work really well. I'll paint the top in black, the interior in red, and the body in a light yellow. So we're going to be custom mixing all of the colors, except for the black top, of course. But um, I think you guys will be surprised in how I mix all the paints up. Um, yeah, we'll do that next time. So next episode will be primer and paint, and uh, then we'll move on to foil, and then clear, and then polishing, and then final assembly. So maybe three, maybe four more episodes, and then we'll call this thing done. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate your watching all of this series. Uh, I know that uh, views have dropped off a little bit since the first episode, but hey, you guys are the reason I'm doing all of this. And, um, you know, I would have just thrown this thing together in like two weeks if I didn't have to record it and edit it and, and all that good stuff. So I'm doing this for you. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye. You still here? Go ahead and watch the next video. Hit the subscribe button.